right, looks like we are indeed live. That's awesome. Great. Sorry, I am so late with Wonder Trade Wednesday. I opted to, uh, I opted to, um, oh, what was it? Uh, stream Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon earlier. And I think it was worth it. It was a lot of fun. But now I want to hatch some weasels. So let's go ahead and continue where we left off. So, in case you uh, you haven't kept up with things, I am not going to be hatching, or I'm sorry, I'm not going to be wonder trading this instant. Instead, I am going to be um, I'm going to be hatching some eggs, which I think will be really cool. I actually went ahead and I I cleared up some box space, so let's go ahead and rename this. And I was at 90 eggs, so let's do. This is my own little mechanic here. I do plus 90 as sort of a checksum to indicate that this box here will contain more weasels. So I have plenty of boxes. That's good. I think I'm only going to do one for tonight. And I know I did end on the wrong box, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so we're just going to just gonna relax, chill, you know, have a good time. It's not about, you know, being a big intense stream or anything like that. It's just going to be relaxing, and hopefully we can get a shiny weasel out of... I think I'm going to do 30 eggs tonight. It's not a lot, but then I will be, um... I will be wonder trading afterwards. So it's not like a soul, um, or an entire shiny hunting stream, and it's not an entire wonder trade Wednesday stream. It's... it's both. <laughs> uh, so we'll do a little bit of that. Um, let's see, how is Super Mystery Dungeon going so far without spoilers? It's actually, it's been kind of fun. Like, I've found myself thinking about it a lot. It's different, that's for sure, but it's kind of neat. I kind of like it. Um, let's see, if I had to pick a type, what would it be? That is a good question. I don't really know. Probably water. Either water or grass. I like those types. Um... You know, last week I was wearing... Oh, here we go. Last week I was wearing um, a different set of headphones. And you know what? I think I like this set just a little bit better. It sounds nicer. It's comfier. That was the problem I was having. Uh, oops. This microphone, it, it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> I mean, it, it works. It's just not the one I'm using. I have a little clip-on mic. And it works great. I love it. Okay, so let's hatch some pretzels. Gonna hatch a batch of 30 pretzels. Oh man. So yeah, I was watching the uh <laughs> I was watching the Republican debate on CNN and I I really didn't like how it was constructed. I think that the debate itself was a wash, but I mean it's still it was entertaining, I guess. Um, but man, did it run late! My goodness, that took an eternity! I felt like AZ waiting for his flow edit took that long. It was ridiculous. Uh, so I guess I'll sign on just because. Um, okay, anyhow. That was just, it was ridiculous. It took over three hours! That was why I was so late. I wanted to do this at nine, and, like, I kind of wanted to just leave. But then I thought, eh, you know what? <laughs> What's the big deal? I'll just I'll just wait it out. Feels like a shame to go so long and not even not even see it all the way through, but man, it was it was kinda boring. Still interesting though. I mean, you know. I actually do try to pay a lot of attention to politics and stuff. My big thing is, hey, just get out and vote, you know? Um, that's what's important. Like, it doesn't matter to me who you vote for as long as you do the research and you encourage people to go out and vote. Not even for anyone specific. Just, just vote. Um, I like that. I think that's important. Oh, anyhow, that's over with. I don't have to deal with that anymore. So let's get some of these weasels put away in their new home. And I'm hatching with two six IV Pokemon, which is awesome. Like that's really cool because, um, you know, that's that's obviously something good. That means every single egg that hatches will have five IVs for certain. So I might even get a perfect weasel out of this, a perfect shiny weasel. I have a perfect IV weasel, but I could get a uh, five IV missing special attack or six IV shiny, like that'd be awesome. 
That would be great. All right, but I think we should go ahead and play some music. What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat if you guys are、um, on board with that. But I think、uh, I think that'd be kind of fun if if we just had some music going. I I did update my soundtrack, my playlist、um, last night. Actually, I added some pretty cool songs. So hopefully,、uh, hopefully it won't be as bad as my last、uh, my mixtape. <laughs> <sighs> All right, come on, hurry it up with the eggs already. But I think it'll make it a little bit more,、um, a little bit more manageable. All right, well I'll take this egg. Let's let's go ahead and do that.、Uh, hopefully this works. Oh, it might be a little loud. All right, well we might need to adjust the volume. Want to be kind of chill. And then there we go. Cool. All right. Hopefully that does the trick. Stronger than you. Oh yeah. I I do have Nate wants to battles stronger than you.、Um, metal arrangement. I love it. It's so good. He gave me permission to use it, which is super awesome. I, I love that song. And his version of it was great. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Um. Can I watch the beginning series of Pokemon Sweet on my channel? And well, I mean, you know, no offense, but like, I, I don't really like being asked, "Hey, can you watch this or that?" Like, I get a lot of people that ask, and it's nothing personal. It's just I only have so much time. I can barely even watch the channels I do want to watch, and I'm not really that much into like hack games and stuff. Okay, this is a little loud. Let me turn it down just a tad. Hopefully that's a little better. Um, yeah, hopefully. But yeah, um, nothing personal. It's just it's kind of rude if you go into someone's channel and then just try to advertise your own channel. So I would not do that.、Uh, do I have Pokemon Red Rescue Team or Blue Rescue Team? I do. I have a、uh, Blue Rescue Team, and I think my team was. I think I was. Oh, I think I was a Mudkip in that too. Go figure.、Um, and I, I had a, a Charmander partner. It was a good team. I don't remember what I named it, but I liked it.、Uh, let's see. What do I like with my pretzels? I like butter.、Uh, or not me.、Um, oh, I like butter. Shiny Weasel is a buttered pretzel, kinda. Yeah, I, I guess butter's fine. I, actually, I don't really know if I like butter on pretzels. Like I like them salted, but I just I don't like them as salted and whatnot. Um, there's no need to apologize. I'm not trying to like be, hey, you know, you did wrong. You should feel bad. Like I'm just I'm giving you advice, like for getting people to watch stuff. Um, you know, I'm more than glad to check out people's stuff if like I talk to them for a bit and you know they they want advice or something here or there. Um, but like. You know, it, I don't really think during a stream is like the most appropriate time for it. So, just give me advice for the future, and not just like for me, but for talking with other people. Um, let's see. Anyhow, oh yeah, this was this music was suggested to me the other day. I was asking on Twitter, hey guys, any、uh, any requests from Overclock Remix? Since now it's totally cool to use their、um, their music, which is awesome.、Um, so I, I was asking around and got some great suggestions. Still, you know, any more suggestions from、uh, Overclock Remix, OCRemix.org? Totally down for it.、Um, Cause they got some cool tunes, but I actually haven't kept up with too much of their stuff lately. So I think I want to go.、Uh, I want to listen to this. I want to go and torrent all their music. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs>、um, yeah, that's that's gonna be great. And when I say torrent, I actually mean legal torrent. You can totally torrent all their stuff. Oh wow, this is weird.、Um, let me see if I can adjust this. This should be a Glitch X Cities remix. But apparently the ID tag thingy didn't catch that. Oh what? Okay, there we go. There we go. No problem. Um, let's see. I did see a question about the Minecraft server. Where did that go? Uh.
Yeah, so the Minecraft server, the Patreon one, I do have the server set, or I mean it's, I have it, I haven't played on it yet, but I mean I, I did go ahead and get the server, so we're doing good, we're doing good with that, um, but I need to get it set up with, you know, proper permissions and plugins, maybe find a good seed, something like that, so I'm hoping uh, either later this week, maybe over the weekend, or, um, oh I don't think I have room, do I? No I don't. Um, I think that I would, uh, I'd like to do, um, get that set up, and that's gonna be great, because a whole bunch of people will start playing on, um, October, early October. It's for patrons, and it'll be a lot of fun, which is nice. Um, let's try to keep the, the spoilers from any of the Wedlock series to a minimum. I mean, you know, we, we all, if we know what happened, we know what happened, but just, you know, don't be so obvious with it. There are still people who haven't seen that series. Um, let's see. Do I mean the water ability torrent? No, actually, I, I mean the download peer-to-peer -to -peer torrent thing, um, which is cool. Actually, there are sites that uh, encourage you to use torrents just because it's more bandwidth friendly for the site, and that makes sense. Things like uh, Linux distributions, they're really good. I, I used to be a bit of a Linux nerd. I not hardcore, but a little bit of one. Um, let's see. I think you mean late September. Yeah, well, late September for a handful. Like, there's, I think, three or four people um, that actually pledged in Patreon um, in September, which is crazy. Awesome, but I think um, I think it'd probably be for the best if they kind of came in as a beta test thing. So yeah, we kind of discuss all right, seed ideas, stuff like that, um, and then um, you know just kind of took it from there. I think if everyone just started at the same time, still, I think that might still be more fun for everyone. I mean, maybe not. I'll get their opinion. Um, I am going to ask about that, but that might be more courteous. Uh, why do I gotta stream? Man, it's 15 to 11. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I wanted to do it earlier, but the Republican debate thing ran, like, way late, and I wanted to watch that, because it's entertainment. I was expecting it to be, like, two hours, but it was over three hours! I'm like, no, this is ridiculous, so... But also, I was streaming, um... Uh, what is it? Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon earlier, and I was expecting... Well, I wasn't really expecting that to take time. I mean, I knew it would. That was what I wanted to dedicate myself to. But, let's face it, Wonder Trade Wednesday wasn't really as much of a priority compared to that. That was my main priority for the day. So, that's why, uh... That's why I didn't go for it. Um, until now. So I apologize, it's kinda late. Probably not gonna see anything too exciting, but oh well. Uh, am I gonna try for shiny living decks in the long run? I mean, I guess I could. It's gonna be a bit of an intense goal, but eh, you never know. Um, what's my favorite Wedlock or Nuzlocke series I've done so far? You know what? My favorite of all of them that I've done is, without a doubt, the Black Wedlock. I think it was just my all-around favorite. I had such a good time um, when I was working on that. It was just really enjoyable. The story was fun. The ad-libbing was fun. I loved the characters and the plot of, I mean, you know, like the Pokemon team I used. It was just really nice. Um, Black 2 was pretty good as well. But Black was just so intense. And the ending, I'm not going to spoil it, but the ending, oh my goodness. Oh, let's see, what's my favorite shiny Pokemon? Um, I really, it's so, it's so weird, but I'm really so partial to shiny Sneasel. I love shiny Sneasel. It's all bubblegum pink and everything. I, I hatched a shiny Sneasel way back on uh, Christmas, actually. Christmas Eve, well, two years ago. And I named him Bubblegum, and I just, I love it. And I don't know why, it's like, it's so pink, and it's got that, like, yellow, orange ear feather thing. But it's just, it always appealed to me for some reason. I think it's just because it's so different. I also really like the, uh, the Nidoran and Nidorina. 
or Nino Ran, Nino Arena, and Nino Reno. Not so much Nino King and Nino Queen, but like the others. Um, they were really great. Uh, wasn't Getz is in the debate? Yeah, if Getz is in the debate, it'd be a much more entertaining de debate. I was talking about like, should we have, um, you know, people go out and vote for Getzis in the 2016 campaign or the election. And, you know, like, I'm not really in favor of, you know, manipulating votes. Like, no, I'm not preaching that at all. But, like, in thinking about it, um, it's kind of one of those things that, uh, if someone is seriously actually going to write in Getzis as their vote, they probably weren't going to actually go out and be a part of the process anyway. So at least kind of encouraging them to get involved is kind of neat. I mean, I'm not as opposed to that crazy idea of saying, hey, you know, for 2016, how about if you don't see any other candidates you like, either Democrat, Republican, or whatever, um, vote gets us or Berg. Just write them in. Just, you know, you can do that. You're free to do that. Nothing says you have to go with the candidates that's on the ballot. I mean, obviously you won't win, but... I, you know, it could at least get people out there just to make a statement. Maybe someday it'll be like on, I don't know, Wikipedia or something. It's like, why did all these people vote for Getzes? Huh, weird. Um, let's see. After seeing that debate, though, Getzes might be the best option. Do you think Donald Trump will lose in the election? I really don't want him as president. He's so unbelievably rude to people and closed-minded. Yeah, he is. But that's like, that's part of what makes him just way over the top. Oh my goodness, it's so crazy. Like, like, seriously. Um, it, it just, it's, I find it funny. I mean, I don't find the things he says funny. I just find, like, his audacity to be hilarious. Um, which, I mean, that's, that's a good, no. I don't want to say the things he says are a good thing. I think that it's important that he says them because it gets people to think, wow, is this really acceptable? Do we really live in a society where this is ex acceptable? And it makes him kind of think twice. But on the bright side, he's being honest. He's not lying like pretty much all the other politicians are. I mean, I'm sure he is about some things, but you know, he's not parsing his words. He's just telling you exactly what's on his mind. <laughs> He's picking fights, and it's just like, okay, look what you've done. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm not entirely opposed. I don't think he's going to win. And if he does, hey, I'm sorry, America, you probably deserve that. But whatever. It's been kind of funny. Oh, I don't like this part of the song, no offense. Oh, man, I, I went a little crazy. Uh, oh, here we go. We got some Glitch X City going on. I got a little crazy last night. I added, like, 190 songs to my playlist. It's like, oh, man. And I'm not even done. Like, I haven't even gone through a lot of the newer over Overclock Remix stuff. So, oh, man. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, hopefully it'll just be a good arrangement. And I can just hit skip if I if I want something new. I really want to look into um, the auto DJ thing. Um, oh, what is it? Uh, it's like a, a night bot thing that you can vote on what song's playing or you can request to skip the song or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but that wouldn't be a bad idea. I just need to make sure I can get all the music that I want included on either YouTube or SoundCloud. Uh, is that the same mic I use for my YouTube videos? Actually, no, it's not. I use this mic um, during my black wedlock, I think. But this, it isn't actually hooked up. I just have it there just because it looks cool. Um, but I, I have a blue Yeti over that away. And I have this Audio Technica mic that I've been using for the Sky series, and it's nice. Um, a little quiet, but it sounds great once you amplify it a little bit. 
Any news on the new 3DS capture card? Unfortunately, no news at all. I was doing a little bit of reading around, and it sounds like there's a three-month delay at least. So, yeah, really unfortunate. Not very satisfied. I just hope it works well. I'm glad I ordered it when I didn't really need it. I know it's kind of a dumb reason, but I would rather have something in advance than, you know, not at all. All right, well, little weasel, let's go ahead and name you. Now, one thing I thought about last week that I did not do, and normally I would do this. Um, normally I would do this when I'm trying to hatch for shinies, and I think it'll be a fun test if perhaps we alternate. So I keep talking about tipping, okay? Like, people always ask, oh, what's your secret to hatching shinies? And... You know, even if it has, well, I don't know if it's officially been proven, but um, I know that people have done tests on it and have found it doesn't actually do anything. But I've found for me, that's what I do, and I get eggs within like 60 to 80 eggs. So I'm not going to do it for this batch, but after we hatch the shiny weasel, the first thing I do before I hatch any other eggs I'm going to uh, Lumio City, and I'm going to um, going to do the uh, the the thing. What is it? The restaurant, like the lowest tier restaurant, the one star Cafe Lina. Um and then I'm going to tip ten thousand there, and then we'll see. Just ten thousand, not any more. That's that's the trick. Not any more. Not any less, exactly 10,000. Um, so we'll see. I know it's worked great for me, <laughs> so that's all I can really say. Whether or not it works for you, who knows? But, you know, I guess it's one thing when I'm just sharing my, um, sharing my shinies that I hatch on Twitter, but it might be another, when did I get hatching power too? Oh, weird. Uh, it might be another thing if we're actually keeping track of it on like a counter thing. So, yeah. All right. Ooh, I wish Nintendo would make the Wismer Evil Line speakers. I'd buy that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. It probably wouldn't be very good, though, but... Oh, man, that would still be awesome. I'd be down for that. Let's see, um... Honestly, considering just getting an original DS capture would make my GBA capture nicer too. Yeah, it is really nice. And it's a lot more affordable too, the original DS captures. Great for capturing Game Boy Advance. Uh, let's see, still no shiny. Nope, not yet. That's fine. All things considered, I just started not that long ago. Does tipping actually work? Um, I believe it does. Um, it very well may be placebo, but at the same time, I, I personally have found good success when I, uh, when I do that. But it has to be 10,000. That's the big thing. If you just tip, like, 1,010 times, it doesn't work, at least for me. It has to be 10,000 one time, not more than one time, otherwise I think it jinxes it. That's like my ritual. Okay, so once this box gets full of weasel there, then I am going to, um, I'm gonna hatch, or not hatch, I'm gonna wonder trade. And then I'm going to bed. Or I might stay up for a little bit and watch TV, but I'm, I'm done. It's like I've streamed for over three hours earlier today, and this is probably gonna be another hour and a half stream. I mean, total. So we've probably got about another hour. Uh, how long do I stream normally? Oh man, that question came like right after I, uh, right after I said it. I know I, you wouldn't have heard it by the time I did that. But, um, it varies. Like, I used to just stream 30 minutes, but lately I've been streaming a little bit more. Um, and I don't know, I, I don't really have any specific times. I guess I usually try to, uh, I usually try to, um, stream for about maybe two hours. Like, that's my perfect length. Sometimes I'll do more, sometimes I'll do less. But who knows. Uh, why is the news follower me? Well, I don't know. You might have hit the... 
unfollow button and then hit refollow, but that's how it goes. It keeps track of who follows. All right. So we're gonna hatch until we get to egg number 120. And then, um, actually, I guess then we could maybe do a poll in the chat. If you guys want me to hatch another box of weasels, I mean, I could just save these weasels until next week and we hatch instead. I'm, I'm not opposed to that. Like, if we don't wonder trade this week, I know it, it's kind of sad, but I kind of want to get the, uh, the shiny weasel too. And I know, well, I, I'm really impartial, whichever you guys want, but we'll want to start thinking about that. Um, because I don't want to hatch two boxes and wonder trade two boxes tonight. I don't got it in me. I'm sorry. Oh, I got mail. <laughs> I have Pokemon ringtones. I'm so great. I've had these for ages. I know, checking my phone during a thing, but. Do to do. Nice. It's one of my patrons who actually is watching part four, which is awesome. I. Once a week, I do upload, um, I try to rush upload an early video, a day early, um, for any of my $3 or more patrons, which is nice. It doesn't hold anything back for anyone else. Like, I, I make sure that it's not like, oh, well, you're not paying me, so you have to wait. It, it would still be released at the same time anyway, but for, uh... For patrons, it works out even better because they get a chance to see it earlier. So, um, yeah, good thing to check out. There's a link in the chat right now if you want to become a patron. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Also, that gives you access to that patron mine or Patreon Minecraft server that I'm working on. Don't have access yet to it, but it will be cool. Um, all right, let's see. What's my favorite Pokemon game? What I'm playing right now, I love me some Pokemon X. It's the only game I've put a thousand hours into. <laughs> I honestly wish I could do a hundred dollars a month just for the confused look. You'd be surprised how many people say that. And like, they're, they're kind of serious about it. It amazes me. It's like, um, cause I really don't know. It seems to me there's someone who's done $50 a month and I have a sketch done for him, which is going to be cool. But it amazes me that someone would even do like five a month. It's like, wow, people are paying me. Or they're not paying me. They're, they're giving me money to help support. And that means so much. The same with Twitch subscribers too. Like one thing that I do want clear, these are two very separate things. Like I want to keep the Twitch subscriber bonuses and the patron, subs or patron, I guess you're not a patron subscriber, you're just a patron. Um, I want to keep those bonuses kind of separate. So, still want to do cool things um, with uh, Twitch, too, if you're interested in being a subscriber. Like, I'm thinking of maybe doing Subscriber Sundays again, where maybe we can visit Animal Crossing or just do some other things. I don't, I don't really know what. I'm trying to think. Um, let's see, am I going to play Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon on stream? I actually, I indeed did. I did play that. Uh, the Japanese version for about three hours earlier today, and it was really fun. I liked it. I didn't want to play it anymore tonight, but I'll probably play it some tomorrow because I have to get screenshots. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. I like it. Although it is kind of confusing because I don't understand enough Japanese for it to make a lot of sense. So that's kind of a shame, but oh well, it's fine. I still think Cheeks is like the best name for my partner, my Pikachu. Am um, I gonna get Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer? You know what? I very well might. I think maybe I should treat myself to that. Um, I know that my uh, Twitch subscription or my Twitch subscribers have, you know, they've chipped in a lot over the while, and I think a lot of you would like that, because I know I used to stream Animal Crossing. So that could be a fun game to stream, even if I don't post it on YouTube. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to get it, but I, I feel like that'd be a good game uh, for subscribers. Let me increase this by one. 
Um, let's see. Let's start at a new wedlock for this game. For, for X? Um, good luck. Also, don't rely on the experience share. Because if you use the experience share, like, a lot, it will make things way too easy. I'll just warn you. Um, let's see. Am I writing a walkthrough of Super Mystery Dungeon? I'm going to see about that. It's kind of tricky to write a walkthrough for, but I do have that in mind. I figure first and foremost I'm going to uh, take some screenshots and have my gameplay recorded so I can always just go back and look things up, which is nice. Um... Let's see. Just for the kicks, why not tip that 10k if it does not take that long? Well, I want to experiment by not tipping the 10k. Like, just so we can see and compare, because otherwise we won't have full data for the next time. Um, so we'll compare afterwards. Because I know I didn't tip for the last shiny I got, or at least I don't think I did, maybe I did. But I know I wouldn't have tipped for this one, so... That way for the next one, as long as we do it immediately, we'll be good. Oh man, I want that golden weasel. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting how cool that thing's gonna look. Alright, let's let's pretzel it up. So we have um we have about ten more eggs to hatch. And then we need to make a decision. If we want to keep hatching and just forget about Wonder Trade Wednesday, not opposed to that. Or if we want to start up a box of Wonder Trade Wednesday and uh, Wonder Trade for the rest of the night. So either way is fine. We have a little bit to think about it. I think maybe I'll do a, a straw poll or something to get an idea. In fact, that would be something good I could do to set up right now. Let me see about that. Uh, you know, Since I'm just riding back and forth, that's no big deal. I mean, come on. Who, anyone could do that. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, nice! I just saw the picture of that shiny feed bass. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, let's see. Straw poll. Uh, do do do. Do, do, do. Ireland, I recently found your Tumblr and as an LGBT plus person, I just want to say the fact you found a way to make multiple relationships work for the wedlock made me really happy. Thank you. Hey, well thanks. I'm, I'm really glad to hear that. I mean, to be honest, that is one of the things I do feel kind of bad about, that, you know, just the standard rules. And I, I say standard rules not to, you know, be, what is it, heteronormative or whatnot, but, um... Really, it's just mechanically the easiest way to make the rules of the wedlock work. Just pairing things up. It doesn't really matter what, but um, like that is something I felt bad about. So getting different ideas and trying to at least explain why it is that those are the standard rules. But encouraging people to play with um, any of the... I know I listed three variants to it, but there's any sort of other ways. Like I've heard all sorts of different ways people have handled it, and I've had a lot of fun with it, too. So that's awesome. I hope no one... Or I know that there are people that think, wow, that's so homophobic or whatever. And it's like, no, that's not what it's about. I mean, you know, I personally, I, I, I'm not into guys. No offense. That's just me. I mean, you know. But I don't judge people that are. I'm fine with that. But I know, like, for Pokemon games, like, I personally prefer just, um, you know, my way of doing it. But I also encourage people to do however they want, as long as they have fun. So I hope I wasn't holding back the, uh, the fun for too much. Uh, let me think. I'm, I'm not even talking right. It's been a long day. Point is, I'm glad that, uh, you appreciated that fact. Alright, let's see. Awesome how accepting you are and everything, Marilyn. You don't seem homophobic or anything to me. I'm certainly not homophobic. Um, I'm not, you know, homosexual or anything. Nothing against people that are. I'm just personally not. Um, but I'm definitely not homophobic. I think a lot of my friends know that. I just, you know, I worry because, 
like with the wedlock, how I only use straight pairings and stuff. You know, people think, oh, must just be a real stickler or something. Well, I mean, no, <laughs> that's, I just, I'm, I'm straight, so that's just the way I prefer it. I got nothing against anyone of any sexuality or lack thereof. But I just, um, I don't know. I just like keeping it just by the rule it is, just for mine. But encouraging people to do it however they want. That's why I'm glad for the improved rules video. I kind of touched on it because I didn't even, I mean, actually, I did think about it before I released the first um, HeartGold Wedlock rules video. I had like a brief variant, but then the more I thought about it, the more it's like, no, this doesn't quite make sense. It opens up these loopholes here and it, it kind of changes things. Um, and there's like a lot of different stuff to think about. There was a lot to think about with the wedlock rules, to be honest. Not just like the whole pairing thing or, you know, uh, which genders you pair, but just like a lot of the different, um, like mechanics, like, oh, how does this work? How does that work? Like Roar, for instance, that ended up being one that was really difficult to think about. I had to think about it on the spot. It's like, huh. And then double battles and triple battles and things like that. Man, it was it was intense. Hopefully it's been handled well. I like it. What's most important is to just have fun, you know? Okay, I need to get that straw poll going. I do have the site up, but I got I got entangled with some discussion, and I like discussion. I'm all for it. All right, so we got seven more eggs to hatch, and then we get to make the decision. I guess I'll wait until one hatches, and then I'll start typing away. Take a little break for a moment, just so I'll have it ready. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh yeah, there we go. Um... Question, was Ditto breedable with itself in past gens? I don't think so. I don't think at any point. The only time I think it maybe possibly would have been is Gen 2, but even then I don't think it was. I'm pretty sure it was never breedable. All right, let me... All right, uh, let me actually spell right. Good job, Devin. All right, there we go. I will post this straw poll. Actually, I guess I'll go ahead and post this now. Um, there we go. You guys can go ahead and vote. This is when we hit 120 eggs. Um, that will make the decision whether or not to, uh, to do the, the thing or the other thing. Whether we're gonna wonder trade or whether we're just going to do another box of shiny hatching. It's about what you guys want, really. I mean, ultimately, that's what I'm streaming for. Um, the only thing is, I needed to have things to wonder trade first. So, yeah. Um, I'm totally fine with whichever one. So, that's why I'm leaving it up to you guys. Either way, it's gonna be chill, so that's fine. I just like hatching um, shinies. And I know it's not quite as entertaining as um, shiny encounters, but it is still kind of kind of nice. Let's see, do I have a favorite starter Pokemon? Um, I would say my favorite starter Pokemon's probably Charmander. I just really love that little fire lizard. It's adorable. But I do like quite a few. I also like Mudkip a lot. I like, um, Chikorita, surprisingly. I really like Chikorita. Um, let's see, who else? Oshawott, kinda, yeah. Uh, let's see, Are, am I going to do the restaurant before or after Wonder Trading and reading the next box? 
Um, I'm only gonna do the, the restaurant once I get the shiny Buizel. So, that'll be when it will be. Oh man, that's a close pull. Oh, also, um, <laughs> just to clarify, I'll make sure that I do, um, I'll just wonder trade if I hatch the shiny. I'm not gonna go on to another shiny project. Um, that's the only time the pull won't go as if I hatch the shiny in the next five eggs, which would be great, which would be great. But yeah, I'll do the restaurant after I hatch the shiny, so it probably won't be tonight. Just because I want to make sure I have this shiny streak thing kind of documented so we can test the whole tipping thing. Just so I can see, well, how did it compare to the last time? And maybe alternate, too. Like, I could do the, the one after the next shiny. I could do that one without tipping again. Just go back and forth, just to see. Oh man, the poll is literally 21 votes to 19 votes. 21 votes just do shiny hatching, and 19 votes do wonder trades. You guys are so split like that, and it's great. It's awesome to see. I'll post the, uh, the link again, just so you have a link to the straw poll. And that's fine. Maybe we'll get the Buizel, who knows? Um, but yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited. Either way. Either way, we're gonna have fun. It'll just be kind of relaxed, you know. Probably be about another 30 to 40 minutes, um, for both. So I think this egg should make the last egg I need. So I'll tell you what, well, I might as well pick up more eggs. There's really no reason not to. <laughs> Every time I hear tipping, I think of that tipping, right? Uh, um, I only think of tipping at restaurants and stuff. Oh man, such a close race with those uh, those votes. It's awesome to see. I'm gonna look away for a little bit, or not look away. I'm just gonna check Twitch. All right, you're not shiny, but it's okay. You'll find a loving home eventually. Or mill tank tipping, yeah. Okay, let me deposit these two weasels. A whole box of pretzels. Pretzels, love pretzels. All right, actually, I don't care for pretzels all that much, to be honest. I mean, they're okay. I guess I just don't rarely get, or I rarely get good pretzels. I don't rarely get. I don't rarely grammar. All right, how are we doing with the pole? Oh man, still neck and neck. This is crazy. I wonder what song we'll be playing when the shiny weasel hatches. That is another big mystery. All right, come on. Two more eggs and then we'll make the decision. That's when I'll cut off the vote and I'm gonna go with whatever it says in the straw poll. It's so down to the wire, only four votes difference so and I'm sure you know you guys will be happy no matter what and the good news is if I don't do um wonder trade tonight we'll start next week's wonder trade Wednesday with like two boxes of weasels and just do that so that'll be kind of nice um do 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 oh why am I talking to you I don't I don't need to talk to you How was Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? It was fun. I enjoyed it. I liked it. 
it was definitely different, like, not having, um, oh, what is it? It being in English. <laughs> that was kind of a big difficulty. But all things considered, it was pretty good. Ooh, soft pretzel with some kind of dip or powdered cinnamon. Part of covered in chocolate or some sweet yogurt. Mmm, that sounds good. I could go for that. Wow, these ones are taking a while. Uh, when will Explorers of Sky be up again? Well, next episode goes up tomorrow. And when I say tomorrow, I mean, you know, U.S. time. Like, it's 11, 16 p.m., so. Uh, probably, I don't know, 16 or 17 hours. Or, if you're a patron on Patreon, you can watch it right now. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Um, let me throw that out there. Not to shamelessly plug. Yay, Buizel! Alright, surprise. Alrighty. Pretzel. One more! One more! And then we'll go with, with the chat. Whatever their decision is. Man, I'm just trying to imagine hatching a Pokemon, like, a shiny, that barely looks shiny. That'd be so difficult. Alright, last chance to vote. We're at 50 votes! It's crazy! Alright, let's see. Don't have money. That is no problem. Don't worry, I'm not holding any videos back. So you'll still be able to see it at the normal time. Um, which is still cool. Alright, alright. Final egg! Number 120! And you're not shiny! That's okay. I'll still give you a hug anyway. Alright, let's name you... Pretzel? Great. Okay, now, time to make the results of the straw poll final. Um, let me see if I can rather easily do that. I wonder if there's a way I can do that. I got this one plug-in thing, which might work. Let's see. Oh, maybe not? No, it's, I guess it's not Flash now, is it? Hmm. Oh well, it's fine. Let's see, so it is 28 votes for just do shiny hatching versus 24 votes for do wonder trades. That's like 54% to 46%. Super close. Like, that's really great. Um, so I think what we're going to do, since there were just a few more votes for um, doing the wonder trade, or for doing shiny hatching as opposed to wonder trades, I will hatch another um, another 50 or 30 eggs, another box worth of eggs. And we'll have a nice big wonder trade for next Wednesday. How's that sound? And of course, if we hatch the shiny, then we will um, we'll do the other. Although I feel like I should probably... Um, let me update the layout or something. <laughs> uh, let's see... I wonder if I can put, like, a, a thing on there. Uh, where is... Okay, best wonder trade today. Not wonder trading tonight. Alright, that works. I do want to have a separate layout for just shiny hatching and a separate layout for just wonder trade. Because that makes sense. Chocobo. Uh, let's see. So what time will the Wonder Trades happen next week? 
Does the stream happen at the same time every week? Um, if don't worry about being terrible following streams. Unfortunately, I'm terrible about scheduling streams. So yeah, um, it will be Wednesday. It'll be in the afternoon, so it won't be this late. It'll probably be around I don't know 3 p.m. Central Time. So um, like that would be uh, well, it's 11:20 right now. Um, Central Time that is. Oh, also, I will wonder trade every weasel I have tonight if I hatch the shiny. If I get um, the shiny tonight. Just so that's clear. I'll stay up for you guys. Wait, why was I going to name this thing probably? You know what? Probably. <laughs> I was going for it. I'm not going to take it back now. Mix it up a little bit. Okay, someone's going to get probably. But yeah, I will, I'll definitely do that um, tonight if I get the shiny. <laughs> I think that's fair. But yeah, just kind of hanging out. It's a cool thing to do. The Twitter command? There's a, there's a Twitter command? I know there's a Twitter command. Or if, maybe it's the command that updates things. Take a look over her. All right, hatch. Oh, should probably update the count, right? Do, 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 do. All right. Pretzel. You know what would be kind of fun to do? Like a nickname. Um, a nickname challenge where I have to, um, uh, I have to nickname, oh, I can deposit these guys, um, where I pick a letter at random and then I have to nickname based on that letter. It'd be kind of fun. Like just the first word that comes to mind with that letter. No repeats. <laughs> uh, what is the probability that probably we'll get someone from the stream will probably get probably right. Okay, let me actually. We'll do this plus 120. Oop. 120. I guess normally I'd release. <laughs> if I were like serious shiny hatching, I would release all of those rather than wonder trade them. Um. And then I would update the count. But that's fine. That's fine. Because we're, we're going to wonder trade these. I'll do my system a little different. I'm really digging this song. <laughs> oh, yeah. Luya Diaga for the win. I was, like, invading everyone's sound clouds the other day. And it was a lot of fun. Like, it was great. But, needless to say, picked up some sweet jams. Oh man, yeah, so, shiny hatching. Fun stuff, right? I mean, who would have thought that people would enjoy just kind of chilling, you know, in a, in a stream, just watching someone ride their bike back and forth. <laughs> I mean, really, come on, what, what's that all about? It is kind of funny when you actually think about it, but I don't mind. I don't mind. I hope you guys don't mind either. Wish I could think of something more entertaining to do on the side, but, you know, you can't really think of too much. I think, like, music is the best I can do aside from that. Just talk, answer questions. Look at my beautiful face, right? <laughs> oh. But I, I do chill and watch the chat, which is nice. Keeps me going. Oh. Do, do, do. I should check the Twitters and stuff too. That's always fun. I tend to be a bit of a bit of a Twitter a holic, if you want to call it that. I'm addicted to Twitter. I not like so much that, you know, I can't function without it, but it is definitely my social media of choice. 
play FF9 one day as a side distraction. I need to actually beat FF9. I've gone to the fourth disc twice, and I still haven't beaten it. I have it on my Vita now, so I'll probably play it more. Ooh, nice Twitter command. That shows my Twitters. I like it. Yeah, I use my Professor Waffles one. Just in case you're tuning in from Maryland, I use, um, it's just P-R-O-F Waffles, like Professor. Um, that's my personal account where I just, I'll talk more random things because I figure you guys aren't using it for news or anything like that. If you're that interested in watching it, then, uh, <laughs> well, you better expect just whatever because I'm not holding anything back. Actually, I guess I do hold back, but whatever. That's where I'll just type my thoughts. Uh, why the name Professor Waffles? Oh, man. Um, that is a very difficult one. It's an official name. I mean, not an official official name, but I mean... <laughs> let's just say that is actually... Um, that may be my nickname at, uh, at with Pokemon. Like... <laughs> with a lot of the judges and stuff and uh, people at the Pokemon Company. And it's a long story. It's a great story, but it's one I'm not going to share tonight. But let's just say I will confirm that Waffles were involved. Yes. Um, <laughs> let's see. Do I have a preference for which of your Twitters your fans follow? I wouldn't want to follow your personal if that can be uncomfortable for you. Great question. So to clear it up, um, no problem at all if anyone follows my Professor Waffles account. Like, that's totally open. It's for people who just want to see more of what I say rather than just kind of video-related stuff. Um, the Maryland one, that's more for, all right, I want to be kept up to date with your videos, with anything, like, really important, with site updates, with news updates, things like that. I try to keep it more simple. And I try not to, like, I don't follow too many people on there at all. It's like 30 people just for news mostly. Um, whereas the uh, the Professor Waffles Twitter, that's, you know, oh, if I want to just say what's on my mind, or oh, I watch this show, or oh, I'm getting into Steven Universe or something. Like, I don't want to flood people's Twitter feeds if they just want Pokemon news and updates on my videos. I don't want to flood that. Uh, on the Maryland channel if people want to see that but for um, For people who do want to see more that's what the professor waffles one is for it's sort of like an extension And that's one where you know, I'll follow people who I'm talking to or people that I uh, uh, You know want to see what their updates are or tech sites and things like that. I mean stuff that it wouldn't really make sense on the other um, Oh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vid pretty much summarizes it perfectly. Professor Waffles is the account where you send him Pokemon gifts. Yeah, that. Uh, have I considered having guests with you for Wonder Trade Wednesday, like Chugga Conroy and such? I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd totally be down for it. I'm not entirely sure. I, I guess it would be reasonable. I'm not opposed to it. It's just kind of a chill time, so I'll keep that in mind if anyone I... Um... Oh, I was going to name it Professor Waffles. No, I don't think you're worthy of the name there, pal. Um, I'll keep that in mind, because at least it's a lot more chill than the Wonder Trade Wen or Wonder Wedlock Wednesday. And these aren't going on YouTube or anything. It would just be, uh, whatchamacallit, if I got a shiny, or when I get a shiny, that's the only time I'd be posting any of this to YouTube. Gotta get the reaction. Alright, here we go. You know, I have to say, I'm I'm more of an old school Sonic fan. I haven't played the new games. I other than I think I maybe played a little of Sonic Heroes. Or no, a little of Sonic Heroes and a little of Sonic Adventure 2 battle. And that's it. Um Sonic 3 Knuckles, man. That's where it's at. I grew up with Sonic 2. Uh, but anyway, the um the one thing I like about Sonic games nowadays is their music. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> uh which surprises me, at least most of it. Um, alright, anyhow. Let's see. 
I don't like Sonic Boom. Does anyone like Sonic Boom? Uh, let's see. Hey, Marilyn, I know you used to do some competitive battles. Have you thought about trying to join a league like the GBA or UCL? Uh, not really. I mean, I the last time I did competitive battles, I think it was literally 2008. So not really something I'm interested in these days. I'm not very competitive. So not, not really anything I'd be up for. Um, let's see. Do do do. What happens if I don't achieve Shiny Buizel tonight? Well, then I'll try for next week. Um, that's what I'll do. I probably won't get it tonight. I figured it'd take, you know, a few hundred eggs. I'm not really rushing it or anything. Um, but the plan is, you know, just Shiny Hatch, Wonder Trade. Shiny Hatch, Wonder Trade. I should really get Sonic Boom when it goes on sale. And then see if I can, like, not update it or something, because that'd be amazing. Just do that Knuckles glitch the whole time. Because I've never played it, but I've seen a few videos on it. And, yeah, I think that has kind of told me that, yeah. I need to still watch some Sonic 06, though. <laughs> but it just didn't really look interesting, I'm sorry. Although, I like bad games, that's the thing. I mean, remember, when I started doing Throwback Thursday, the game I started with was Tecmo Secret of the Stars, guys. I mean, I do sort of like those bad games. <laughs> oh, man, the Normal Hat. That was such a great game, I loved it. Ugh, oh, so good. Oh yeah, Buizel's just like digging the music. Got the beat down, got the rhythm down. Tecmo was a great playthrough. I agree. It was actually a lot of fun. Like, it didn't have a huge audience or anything, but it, it had a really good fun audience of people that would tune in every Throwback Thursday. And it was just, it was a game that I grew up with in my childhood, so I really liked playing it. And it was actually better than I thought. Although it did have some epic dialogue. <laughs> oh man, I was trying to think of another good game that'd be good for Throwback Thursday. I don't think I'm ready to do Throwback Thursday um, tonight, or not tonight, tomorrow night, because it'd be Thursday. But I'm giving some thought for what I might want to play. Because I do want to bring that back at some point. Um, let's see. I got a whole bunch of SNES games, but I'd probably have to replace the battery. I was such a daredevil with, um, Tecmo Secret of the Stars. I didn't change its battery. I mean, that's just crazy. That is crazy that it actually, um, held out that long. I couldn't believe it. Uh, Final Fantasy IX for Throwback Thursday. Probably not. It's not old enough. <laughs> Um, which is crazy. Uh, selling on the SNES. Yeah, that's probably what I'd be thinking. Plenty of great games for the SNES. Um, have I considered Fortune Cookie Friday to knock down the backlog? I really should. Um, I really should do that. Um... Because I needed to work on my backlog. That might not be a bad idea. Because I don't really have anything I was planning for Friday. Uh, let's see. Why is it cool to hate on Sonic games anyway? That's just stinking thinking. Well, I mean, I do agree. I'm... Okay, just so it's clear. Like, I may personally not like the new Sonic games. But a lot of people don't like Pokemon or think that Pokemon is immature. So, I mean, like, if I'm going to knock you know, Sonic and give it a hard time, or its fan base a hard time. I mean, like, come on, I'm, I'm playing Pokemon here, okay? Same goes for, like, My Little Pony, you know, people, like, bronies. Like, okay, I mean, people get way too into it sometimes. Am I one to complain about that, or to give them a hard time? I'm the one sitting here playing Pokemon, like, you know. Hey, just, if you enjoy what you're doing, that's what's important. If you enjoy what you're playing. I just prefer the old side-scroller style. And when they started going to the 3D style, I just did not like that transition as much. So, 
That's kind of what it boils down to. And adding a whole bunch of characters. Like, it's not just, oh, I want to hate on the fan base just because... There are a lot of people that do that. There's a lot of people that do that with, like, My Little Pony, or Pokemon, or Digimon, or Yu-Gi-Oh, or something. I mean, all sorts of things. And I don't think that's really cool. It doesn't accomplish anything. Uh, let's see. But, I also think that it's important to understand both sides. Like, okay, it's totally legitimate for someone to not like the direction something's going. Do they have to bring it down for it? No, they don't have to do that. Like, I don't care for the new Sonic games. I don't think they're very good. Does that mean I'm going to criticize people that like them? No. <laughs> I mean, there's enough kind of backlash with, like, say, Sonic Boom. Um, no offense to anyone that likes it, but, you know, you know you're probably in the minority. And if you like it, great. Like I said, I love Tecmo Secret of the Stars. It was a bad game, but I enjoyed it, and that's what's fun. All right, let's see. Where's all? Do do do. Oh man, I'm tired. I've been streaming like four hours today, more than four hours, and that's also setting up. I had to work out a new layout for Super Mystery Dungeon. Although I think I got a lot done because I could probably just reuse that layout and add a few things here and there like the portraits once it comes out in English. But still, that, that took a lot of work. Maybe I'll do like a fortune cookie stream of like either SNES games or Something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is Final Fantasy VIII's battle theme. Or a remix of it, of course. By Game Metal. Love him. Teach me how to rave. I need to know how to rave, right? never been to a rave, I don't think. I've been to a few, like, party things that are kind of like that. They have music and whatnot, but not, like, an official rave. To be honest, I have no desire. Not really my scene. Not really a nerd scene, to be honest. I like techno. I like trance. I like kind of house club-ish music. More techno trance dubstep type. But, um... I really don't... I don't have any desire to get into raves and whatnot. I don't need to play XD, but it's so expensive. Is it really? Huh, I don't know how much it's worth. <laughs> I have that and uh, Coliseum and the, the bonus disc. I do have that. I can get unlimited Jirachis. Mwahaha. <laughs> Does this area even have raves? It might not have raves, but it actually has a nice vegan um, microbrewery, which is amazing. Didn't know that before. What is my name in this game? Maryland! All right, yeah, 132, we're good. I like that I can kind of cross-check my count. Oh my goodness, Final Fantasy X-2, 100% a complete pain. You have to talk to every single NPC. Oh, there's like five different chapters in that, if I recall correctly, right? Oh, man. Uh, this is the copy I used for the walkthrough, right? Yep, that's the one. Still playing it. Even though I never did the, uh... <laughs> never ended up doing the, uh, the, the... Whatever quests they were. The one guy. Can't think. Need sleep. Uh, let's see. Can I visit your town in Animal Crossing? You can feel free to visit it if you have the Dream Suite. I have in all my Animal Crossing videos the Dream Suite, um, whatchamacallit? Code thing? Address. That's it. And you can enter it there. And that gives you a chance to check it out. 
But otherwise, I'm playing playing Pokemon X tonight. Yeah, Looker. Wow, why could I not think of Looker? You know, I, I seriously would have been thinking about that still, even if I didn't get interrupted and or with my train of thought. Oh, man. Let's see. Look at your backlog and you should play Secret of Mana. Yeah, I probably should. Oh, wow. Yeah. XD is pretty decent. Yay! One more egg. You're not shiny! Oh, I would have loved to have a shiny weasel like Grand Thin. 135. I think it's going to be the next egg. That's what I think. I'm going to call it right now. Oh, no, you're not Maryland. You're a pretzel. Oh, this one right here. Shiny. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Watch. Witness it live. It's like one of my favorite songs, too. Oh, this is great. Here it goes. Anyone got some spray paint? Come on, I need some spray paint. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, okay. That's fine. All right, pretzel. You may be just an ordinary pretzel. I'm the salty one now. <laughs> oh, well. All right, let's drop this batch of weasels off. Got 16 more, and then I'm calling it a night. Dang, Maryland, I didn't know you streamed this late. I don't usually, um, but I was, like, kind of delayed. <laughs> so, like, I was no normally I would stream this in the afternoon, but since Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon came out, I decided to stream that instead. Didn't update the count. Oh, right, I didn't. That was 135, wasn't it? Let me double check, actually. Do to do Um, yeah, that's 15 more. Yep, all right, we're good. Oh, but yeah, so I, I got delayed, and it's like, you know what? Rather than not do it at all, I'm just going to do it late, and we'll just see who shows up. So we're just going to have some fun. All right, here we go. But I didn't decide to do Wonder Trade. Um... Or the Wonder Trade part of this, unfortunately. But I had a vote, and um, it worked out that people wanted me to just continue shiny hatching. So we're going to have two boxes of Wonder Trades right from the get-go for next week. So that'll be nice. It'll make up for it. It'll be cool. Maryland, after dark. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, man. Maryland, after dark. That's when I whip out playing Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> oh man, I picked that game up on the N64 and that is one of the most vulgar games from what I've heard. I haven't played it, but I've heard it's legendary as far as how funny and witty it is, but also how like completely inappropriate it is. <laughs> Maryland After Dark. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be streaming that, sorry. Emphasis being on don't think. That could be hilarious sometimes. I feel that like that should be something I do either for charity or just for I don't know what, just to make myself money. Lots of money. <laughs> uh throwback Thursday banjo kazooie. Hmm. I'd have to see what like rares policy is on copyright and stuff, because I don't really want to do any game that I'm going to get in trouble for. That's why I kind of want to stay away from Square Enix games. Like, they're generally okay, but it can sometimes cause issues. All right, let's click that right now. It's got to be this song, man. I mean, this song, how could a shiny weasel not be hatched to this song? I mean, really, think about it. It's such a good song. 
Oh man, um... Oh, I know what I should do. I should play Pokemon Puzzle League. Yeah, that's what I should do. I was thinking of trying to beat Mewtwo on, what is it, Super Hard or whatever? I know that's nearly impossible, but I'm pretty good at that game. Or trying to get a massive chain. Oh, it would have been so cool if it hatched like right then with that, that beat drop, you know? It would have been awesome. Alright, Pretzel. Did you know that the guy who founded Overclock Remix, his online alias is DJ Pretzel? <laughs> so I guess this is for you, DJ Pretzel. Did I get anyone to play that with you at Worlds? Okay, so I actually brought a Nintendo 64 and two controllers and a mini TV and a Pokemon Puzzle League. I brought that with me to Worlds and I carried it around and it's like it just was not a good environment for it because like it wasn't like Worlds last year. I didn't care for the venue as much this year. I thought it wasn't quite as good. Um, but this year I was like, oh man, I'm going to play this and didn't play anyone. It was so sad. But, oh well. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm going to grab you. Alright, yeah, 13 more eggs, and then I'm calling in a night. That'll be two boxes, and then I can uh, do... More stuff. All right, Throwback Thursday, Pokemon Snap. I have played Snap so many times. <laughs> um, I just did a stream, I think in February. It was like a charity stream. Actually, I've got a charity stream event coming up on the 27th. Not sure what to play. It'll be for two hours, so that should be something we should think about. Maybe even just shiny hunting. That's fun. Um... Let's see. Oh, let me increase that. Um, it was on March when I did a charity stream. Yeah, I know it was sometime earlier this year. I couldn't remember exactly when. But needless to say, I have another one coming up. I've got two hours allotted to me. Um, but I don't know what to play. And even just having like a nice chill stream where I can help promote the, the charity and the cause would be good. How does it say cannot find window? That's weird. On OBS, that is. I don't know why it couldn't find a... Oh, I know why. I had an animated background. Remember that from last week? I forgot about that. That did make it look cooler, but it's not necessary. Do do do. Still not a bad layout for throwing it together in like an hour. Um, let's see. Yeah, I did do a versus with Safazen. Way back. Uh, what about playing Earthbound on stream? It's a good game, but so many people play it, so I don't know. I kind of like with Throwback Thursday it being like under appreciated games. I really should stream. Space Station Silicon Valley. I've never beaten that game, but it's hilarious. It's one of my favorite games from my childhood just because it's so out there. I mean, you get to take control of robotic animals and use their powers. It's awesome. Or if I had it, I'd play Crusader of Senti. But that game is so expensive. It's like ridiculous. I would probably trade my Earthbound in a heartbeat for it just because I could get Earthbound on Virtual Console. Yay, hatching more eggs. My girlfriend got me into Maryland, then she got to sing Kiseki at the end of the Sleepwalk video. Really? That was her in no way. I love her rendition of it. I cannot hear Kiseki in any other way. It's so awesome. It is like the best version of it. Like... I always feel so much more prepared when they sing Kiseki at, or when they play Kiseki at the Pokemon Symphonies. Which I'll be in Nashville, by the way. 
on the 9th. Um, but I always feel so much more prepared thanks to that song. What's the robot Pokemon ripoff game on the Game Boy Color made in the late 1990s? Wasn't that Robopon? I think it was Robopon. Yeah, it was Robopon according to the chat. I always wanted to try that for some reason, even though I hear it was terrible. Well, I don't hear it was terrible, it's just, it wasn't... I don't know. <laughs> Everything back then tried to be Pokemon. All right, I like this song and all. I like Frog Sneak. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, it's it has to hatch during this song. Oh yes, Nate wants to battle stronger than you, Steven Universe. This is Garnet, back together, and I'm never going down at the hands of the likes of you because I'm so much better, and every part of me is saying go get her. Yeah. I <laughs> love it. It's got a hatch to this man. Hatch. Shiny. Come on. Do it. Oh, it's got a hatch to this. Oh, looking to get tickets to the symphony in London. Oh, no way. I might actually be going to London for the symphony because it's just, I think it'll be amazing. You should totally go. Try to get in touch with uh, Safazen, actually. Because I know he loves that song, too. I'm sure he'd be glad to hear you were going. Uh, okay, nine left. Great. I might be going to London. I'm not entirely sure, but I would like to. I love how people keep saying things like, I can't believe they're getting away with all this when it comes to the same-sex relationships in Steven Universe because... Cartoon Network is super supportive of it. Yeah, it's it actually kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it, and then it happened. I'm like, yeah, this is cool. I like it. It makes it interesting. But it's not like in your face or anything, too. Although I have to say, I really do ship Steven and Connie. They're adorable. Okay, we have like 26 seconds, come on. We can do it, we can do it, hatch, hatch. Okay, well it'll hatch next time. Hatch. No! Maybe, maybe so? Oh. Oh well, it's fine. It was still good. Let's see, where's the cool new... Oh, this is pretty good. Alright, eight more eggs to go. Seven more eggs. I really should get into Wee Bear Bears. So I watched an episode of that while I was at Worlds. And it seemed interesting. I mean, I, I like Paris there, okay. Actually, I'm more of a Pakistan. fan. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, the, uh, like, I don't know. I unfortunately don't have Cartoon Network or anything, or cable for that matter. So I would have to, I don't know, probably see if it's on Hulu or something. All right, whoop, nope, nope, all right, all right, we're good, we're good. We, we got, we got like seven eggs to go. And we got a cool song going. Oh, 
Hello, any tips for playing Pokemon Conquest besides don't die? Um, try not to die. Uh, yeah, only using Warlords is good. Trying to, like, have everything linked good. It's been so long since I've played that. I'm getting sleepy, I'm sorry. Oh wow, I'm gonna name this thing Pretty. No, I don't, Pretzy. Oh, I should name one Pretzy sometime. That'd be funny. Yeah, I keep things legal. Just so that's clear. Uh, in fact, actually with Steven Universe, so they had up to episode 35 of Steven Universe on Hulu, which was nice, but then they ran out, and, you know, it's like I knew that there was more, so it's like, oh, man. So I did break down, and I ordered, uh, I got it on, um, Amazon. They had it on that, so I could watch it on Amazon Prime. And it's kind of unfortunate, because, like, they misordered a lot of stuff, and they group it into two episodes per episode. Which I guess is how it would run anyway, but, or maybe, I don't know, actually. Because I don't have cable, but... Oh, man. Um, that was kind of unfortunate. But it's okay. I mean, I'm glad with supporting the show, even though it ended up... Like, I had to buy Season 2 and Season... Th well, okay, not Season, but Series? Or whatever Amazon's loose name of it was. I don't know. It, it's messed up. It was very confusing. I think I tracked down the proper order to watch things in, so that, that was okay. But it was really frustrating. I don't recommend that as an experience. It's like, you know, I could have probably just found some shadier site and just watched it and been fine, but I don't know. It seemed like it was entertaining and I wanted to uh, wanted to support it. I'm glad I did. But a buck fifty an episode kind of hurts. <laughs> and that's, you know, perhaps, or not half episode, but like, 12 minute episode thing. Wow, these eggs are taking a while. Hey, Talonflame, wake up, buddy. I feel like I need to, uh, I need to give that Talonflame a name. I never do anything with that. All right, Buizel. We're getting close to the end of this stream. So close. All right, let's drop these two off. I really kind of want to hatch a shiny town flame, or er, well, shiny fletchling. Except without Gale Wings. Just so, um... Just so I'll have something pretty hatching my eggs. <laughs> uh, I think that'd be nice. Let's see. We need, we need some good... Good tunes. I'm okay with this. Alright, hatching. Hatchin', what does Gale Wings do again? It's the one that makes all flying type moves have priority to the like quick attack. Really powerful. I think that's why people hate Talon Flame. <laughs> Although no one uses Talon Flame anymore in like VGC and stuff. Do do gimme. Give gimme! Give Gimme. All right, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. These are the four chosen eggs. It is late, man, it's midnight now. That is crazy.
All of the VGC top player used Kangaskhan and Landorus. Yeah, all of the top eight teams used Landorus. Therian Landorus. <laughs> Landorus! Landorus everywhere! <laughs> okay, Weasel. Bratzel. What's up with this, Weasel? Hey, what's your problem, huh? Come on, do it. Just do it. Just a little bit. Why are you so happy, huh? You got something. I know it. You can do it. You can do it. Eh, whatever. Yeah, VGCs were pretty boring this year. Ugh. Last year was so exciting. This year just wasn't. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it! <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, Marilyn, I know you don't believe so, but I see all your Nuzlocke to be complete successes. Not just because you won everyone, but since you made us all happy with them. Well, thanks. That means a lot to hear. I'm glad you enjoyed them, and I'm glad you were happy with them. All right. Two more eggs remain. Be shiny, just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams! I don't want to scream. I don't want to do that. You guys deserve better. Okay, give me. Give me the egg. Yeah, the Machamp match is really good. The seniors match. And who was it? Mark McQuillan. He was at Worlds last year. And, you know, it was so great to see him win this year. And he had probably the more original... Pokemon, or the most original of all of the top eight matches in all divisions with his Machamp, but yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. That was good. It was clever. And it just destroyed him. There were some really good reads. I can definitely attest to that. But it was also like a 2-0 match, if I recall correctly. I mean, he just crushed the foe. Two more eggs. So tired. <laughs> oh man, what was I thinking? Oh, no. Oh, well. So, how about that local sports team? I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing, guys. I don't want to play this song. We need, like, a cool ending song. That's a cool song, but... It's also cool. Um, give me something. All right, I like I like this. This is good. Shuffle Mobile's catch rates are abysmal. Oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, let me increase that. Yeah, I've been getting into Shuffle Mobile, and it is so daunting. I finally managed to beat stage 150, and it took ages, ages. Um, oh man, it was crazy. But, um, yeah, it was, it was just, oh man. I, I have like, I think 39, maybe less, uh, stages that I need to still S rank.
Uh, let's see. I know Chugga has done it once, but would you ever be down for any of the Speed Gamers Pokemon charity marathons? Maybe. Certainly not opposed to it. Um, I may have something in the works that is not similar, but something that's going to be doing something. Um, you're not shiny. Darn it! Uh, but I definitely do try to give updates on my site and stuff about them, because they're cool. Alright, let's see. There we go. Um, what happened to Minecraft? You were doing Minecraft Vanilla and Hunter Diamond Challenge. That's all on my More Maryland channel, which you might want to look into. I don't do that on my main uh, channel anymore. But I will probably be doing some Minecraft in the future. Because I got a Patreon server going, which will be nice. It's not fully up yet. We're, we're working on it, but it'll be cool. All right. Well, I think we're going to leave it at that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this helped make your evening enjoyable. Hopefully you had a good time. And I, I think that's pretty good. So I need to leave it more abruptly. But I hope that, um, yeah, I hope that this was fun. So next Wednesday, we are going to go Wonder Trade two boxes of Weasels right from the start. And then we're going to continue the one, the uh, shiny hatching. So it'll all work out fine. So make sure you get Pokemon that you want to Wonder Trade. Make sure you get them bred for next week because we're going to have like 60 just going and going. And it'll be great. Um, I might possibly do 30 and then hatch 30, or 30 Wonder Trades, hatch 30, and then Wonder Trades 60. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Point is, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you on next week's Wonder Trade Wednesday and Shiny Hatching. See you next time, everyone. Woo!